Welcome, uh, Rabbi Mark Wilds here, MJE. Uh, we took it out to the forest, well not the forest, but the suburbs, so I could find you a tree. I'm standing in front of a tree because one of the psukim, one of the verses in this week's Parsha, tells us to send away the mother bird if we would ever find a, uh, a bird in a tree. The Torah tells us, Ki kare kan sipur baderech, that if you would ever encounter a bird's nest, uh, while you're walking, b'chol eitz in any tree, or la aretz, you even find it on the ground, efrochim or beitzim, and you find the little, the eggs, ba'em rovetzet al efrochim, and then you see the mother bird is um, is laying on the eggs, trying to hatch her eggs, or la beitzim, lo tikacha em al abanim, the Torah says. You're not permitted to take the mother from its children. <coughs> Rather, shalech te shalachat ha'em, you have to send away the mother bird, and then you can take the offspring so that it'll be good for you and here are the last two words, the clincher the harach the yamin so that you will have a long life the Torah tells us that if you send away the mother bird before taking of its young this is a mitzvah from the Torah it doesn't give us the reason, maybe it's because of uh, compassion, whatever the reason is you'll get what's called a richos yamin which is longevity which is interesting because the only other mitzvah in the Torah for which one gets longevity, arichus yamim, is honoring the parents. And one of my great teachers, Rabbi Blech, pointed this out. Isn't that interesting? That what could arguably be considered the most difficult commandment in the Torah, to honor one's parents, given a lot of family dynamics, and the great level of honor we're supposed to show our, family, our parents, it could be argued as the most difficult mitzvah in the Torah. And this shooing away the mother bird. I'm sorry I couldn't get you a, board, a bird with a, with a nest, but you got the idea with the tree. All you have to do is, it's a flick of the wrist. You literally, literally shoo away the mother bird to be able to take its eggs, and you fulfill the mitzvah. Now obviously we would say the mitzvah of kibbut av of honoring parents, that must be so much more rewarding. I must get so much more reward for that mitzvah. It's so much more difficult to do than the mitzvah of Shiloh HaKan, the flick of the wrist. But you know, I always say, there are no underlines and there are no bolds in the Torah. The Torah doesn't tell us which mitzvah to take more or less seriously. The Torah just gives us all of these commandments. 613, 248 positive mitzvah, 365 negative mitzvah, things to stay away from. Our job is to do the best we can as we get closer and closer to Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. I invite you guys to join us on Shabbat. I'm going to be giving another preparatory type of inspiring talk tomorrow about lost and found and my book launch is coming out in two Wednesdays I hope you guys can come this is a season of time to learn more to grow more and to keep as many mitzvot as possible even those mitzvot that would seem oh must not be so important not so serious a flick of the wrist you get a richos yamin you get longevity the same reward for which you get for honoring parents teaching us that we shouldn't make our own evaluations that we think we know What's more or less important in Judaism? Obviously taking care of our parents is incredibly important. But shooing away the mother bird, you could also get longevity for that too. Teaching us a very important lesson, never to take one mitzvah any more seriously than the other. Shabbat Shalom and thank you for listening.